King News, my lovely, wonderful people. DSS has picked up Labour Party vice presidential candidate. Ah, yes, so they don't pick Dante Baba Hamid. And um, they've picked him, asking him questions with regard to an interview he granted um, one of the TV stations where he said, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu cannot be inaugurated. That will be uh, deception. That will be lies. And that <clears throat> everyone and anyone who is talking about inaugurating him is committing an atrocity because, um, you know, the process that produced him has not followed the law in, accord in accordance. And so there is problem. But Nigerians are angry. You heard me. Nigerians are saying, why are you inviting him? MC Olumo produced a video, you did not invite him. Bayon Niga said he's unapologetic that Igbos, this let's be the last time that Igbos will interfere in Lagos politics and voting, and you did not invite him. To mention but a few, how come you are inviting Bab Dante Baba Hamed? And so many people now are criticizing DSS that they have a hand in some of the things going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details dss call labor party vice presidential candidate and ask him what he meant by this comment which has sparked up a lot of reactions in nigeria the all progressive congress has called on the department of state security services to inv invite vice presidential candidate of labor party dante baba hamed to question him for the further clarification on his comment made about the swearing in of Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress coming up on May the 29th. This call was made by the chairman of the All Progressive Congress in River State on Thursday, March the 30th, 2023, in Calabar, the state capital, where why he was interacting with some newsmen where he said that the Labour Party vice presidential candidate Dante Baba Hamed shouldn't be, be, shouldn't be arrested but invited by the DSS to give better clarification about his call on the Chief Justice of Nigeria not to swear in Bola Ahmed Tinubu. According to him, he said since Dante Baba Hamed appeared on on the station to give that interview. This has rather caused a lot of chaos in the country and unrest. We will need further clarification on what he meant by what he said, that the Chief Justice should not swear in Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a man who was voted in by over 8 million Nigerians. What should prevent his swearing in? This is now the serious question that he needs to answer and tell Nigerians what he means. He has caused a lot of reaction based on the decision he has taken and based on the words he has said. We need clarification on what he has said or there will be unrest. We don't want a situation where the inauguration of president-elect will be altered. So this is what is happening. They said they should invite Dante Baba Hamed. He should come and give clarification. But nobody is calling for MC Olumo to be interviewed and for matters to be expatiated on Yachukundi. What we've heard them say is that, oh, he was referring to Yachukundi, who is his business partner. Yachukundi is his customer. And that they were just having a conversation. And Yachukun Dissef has confirmed that she is the one he was referring to. That is according to the Lagos Deputy Governor. You know, he said so. Uh, they are investigating MC Oluomo. And if he has committed any crime, they will deal with him accordingly. But the question still remains. How come what is good for the goose is not good for the gangas in this country? How come? How come there are different... You know, there are different opinions and everything is not lining up like it should. How come things are neither here nor there? How come some people can get away with some things and to some other people you said no, they must be hooked up on it? Dante Baba Hamed had an interview 
And in that interview, he clearly explicitly revealed that it would be crime to be criminal for Bola Ahmed Tinubu to be inaugurated. And he gave his reasons. He said because the process that produced him was against the constitution, that INEC did not follow their own guideline. And that was already, a, 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 you know, that's already, a, a, you know, a disadvantage. And that this whole process must be, you know, either a re-election is done or something is done to change the course of what is happening, even just for Nigerians to have what we call rest of mind or to have, you know, uh, you know, just to have that conversation, okay? Or to have that, just have that, you know, that assurance in INEC as we speak. If you take a census and go around the country, you'll be shocked to know and to find out that a lot of people do not, I repeat with the emphasis on not, trust INEC. A lot of persons, a lot of persons, they don't trust INEC. Yet, this is a system that is supposed to produce, you know, that's supposed to be a system of integrity that people are supposed to trust, look upon, and, you know, we, we show that if INEC says A, should be A not cd you get me now so these are some of the things that are happening and a lot of persons are really really asking okay asking what is going on how come INEC is neither here nor there you know INEC seem to to be bridging their very own you know their very own matter and now they are asking that it should be invited but when this guy said he's unapologetic that, you know, uh, Igbos should not let this be the last time they will interfere in Lagos. But you say census is coming. They should participate in the census, but they cannot participate in every other thing. Excuse me, who does that? Who does that? Who? Who does that? Who does that? Oh, when you need me, I should be there. But when I need you, you can't be there. Excuse me. Uh, to start with again, Nigeria is a country where we all should be able to have a freedom of expression. And be able to, you know, live our lives peacefully without any form of interference or anything of such. Okay? So this is what is happening. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, it is important that we understand some of this and move on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us is bye for now. Bye-bye.